Hello everyone, I'm Miss April, and this is the month for poetry, April. That sounds kind of weird, didn't it? <laughs> I think it's pleasurable with my name involved. I'm going to have an activity for you today, and it's called Japanese Lantern Poetry. And it's based on a lot of rules for it, but they're simple rules. It's five lines, and it limits the amount of syllables. You're asking what's a syllable? A syllable is the amount of beats or the sound in a word, such as the name April. April has two beats, right? There's two syllables. My daughter Lauren is filming me right now. We'll do her name. Lauren. Again, two syllables. My husband is Tom. Tom. It's one syllable. My sister, her name is Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen. Oh, three syllables. So we have a lot of syllables in there, and we'll work more with syllables as I do some practice poems with you. So what I want you to do right now is pause the video, and you can look to your family and try to be, find out the beats that are in the name of their, in the syllables in their names, so just like I did. So I'll wait right here for you. Okay, everyone, I'm done waiting, and I'm glad you're back. This paper right here is going to show you again the limits of the lines of a poem. This is the first line has one syllable. The second line has two syllables. Third line has three syllables. Fourth line, four syllables. And the last line is one syllable, just like at the top. I'm going to bring over a sample poem for you here. This section, this is the title. So now here, we'll go by my limit. There's one, two syllables, three, four, and back to one. Let's check this out if I did it correctly. Board, checkmate, there's two. Queen, pawn, rook. Only move one, only move one. Yep, there's four. Square. And it all is centered around the king. What do you think I could, other title I might have given it? Chess, yes, that's right. This is all about chess. And you could do a poem like this and come up with your own words that you would like. So we're gonna go back to creating with our, uh, come up with some of our words for it. And I'm picking for our first poem. I'm gonna make it about hot dogs. I'm gonna need some help from you. So hot dogs, let's see. Hot dogs, we know hot dogs are red. It comes on a bun. Uh, it has mustard. There's ketchup. Uh, chili. Lauren, got any other ideas? Celery salt. Ooh, celery salt. Pickles. I wish I could hear you guys at home because I'm sure you're shouting out all these other things on it. Can you think of something else? Ooh, oh, I have one. Onions. Ooh, onions. Uh, hmm, what else could we put on our... Some people like peppers on it. Um, oh, I have another one. What? Tomatoes. Ooh, yes. Tomato. Now let's go through, and I want to see how many syllables are in each word, so I will be able to know where to place them in my poem. I'm not going to use all of them. It's too many words. Red. How many syllables, everyone? One. Bun. One syllable. Mustard. How many syllables? Mustard. There's two. Ketchup. There's two. Chili. There's two. Celery salt. Ooh, let's count that one again. That's a long one. One, two, 
celery is three, salt is one more, and three plus one, there's our four. Ooh, we're gonna need one for our four line. Pickles, two, onions, two, peppers, two, tomato, three. Okay, it looks like we have a good one for our four line. The three line tomato. Uh, let's see, what will we do for our two? Let's do, a lot of people love ketchup, so we'll, well, let's do mustard. Mustard, and we're gonna need two ones, and here's right here, we're gonna do this one and this one. So, let's see. Oh, we'll get it over here. Let's write our poem. And so we're going to start off with red mustard. Uh, we don't want that. Let's see. Um, let's go red. We're going to go to ketchup instead. Ketchup, go down to tomato, tomato, celery, salt, and bun. Red, one, ketchup, two, tomato. Three, celery salt. Four. Let's repeat celery salt because that was a hard one. Celery. There's three. Right on the three hundred. Salt. That's one. Remember, three plus one is four. And the last one, bun, is one. Here, red ketchup, tomato, celery salt. Fun. And you can ask someone, what is this all about? It's about hot dogs. There's my title for it. And it's a Japanese lantern poem because I'm going to take another marker. And it forms, of course, without the numbers the shape of a Japanese lantern. So now we're gonna do another one. Let's see. I want you first to come up with some words. I don't want you to see what I've already come up with. I'm gonna hide it from you. For basketball. What are some words? Here's my topic. Yeah. There's my topic, basketball. So we know there's a ball. And people will shoot it, shoot the ball. They have to dribble. Pass the ball. There's an, a, a net attached to the hoop. Um, see, they're gonna score. Can you think of some others? Oh, there's fans in the stands. Fans. Let's see, fans in the stands. I've got one. Oh, yeah? They play on a court. Oh, a court. That's fabulous. Fans in the stands. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we hear? Go ahead. I got another one. Yeah? They play as a team. Oh, it's a team. Team sport, we could maybe get team sport. That would be two syllables out of that. Um, what else? What about some, I know it's, I'm thinking of the smell. When we sat and we watched a Bulls game, uh, we were right behind the players and it smelled. It was stinky from all the sweat. Stinky sweat. Well, we won't do that one. Uh, how about squeaky shoes? 
because when it's on the court, it's not really shoes, it's court. So there's our court word again, squeaky court. We don't have to use all the things we've come up with. But let's try to go now to, let's check out how many syllables we have. Ball, ball is one. Shoot, one. Dribble, oops, is two. Pass is one. Net is one. Hoop is one. Score, one. Fans in the stands, there's a four. Court, you're right, that's one. Team sport, there's two. Squeaky court, I don't know. Squeaky shoes, isn't it shoes that are squeaky? We'll do shoes. Uh, it would be too long. So we're just gonna skip this one since I'm a little discombobulated over it. Um, let's see, which one shall we choose? We need this one, what could be for our four. I don't have a three, so I can combine a two and a one. Let's combine these two together. Two plus one is three. So there's our three. And now I need team sport for two. And I'm gonna need a one. Shoot, maybe score. Let's try one for shoot and then maybe this one for the other one. So here is our, I need more paper. I'll do it up here in another color. We'll do it in black, this one. Um, so we'll do shoot, shoot, there's our one. Remember we have one, two, three syllables, four syllables, and then one. So it's shoot, dribble, pass, I can just put a comma between the two. Oh, that dribble pass, that was our three. My bad. So let's move this. Let's get another piece of paper. Let's, where did you stop it? Sorry about that. I was wondering, where did you go? So I went somewhere. I had to get another piece of paper because I made a botch up on here. So we're going to start again. See, it happens to the best of us. One syllable, two syllable, three four, and one. So the first one will be shoot. The second one, I only want two. Now I need team sport. Shoot, team sport. I gotta double check myself, everyone. So now I'm looking for the three. I'm gonna do dribble, pass. Dribble, pass, dribble, pass. Now I need the four, and the four is fans in the stands, or I could go, I've got four, four syllables I could put in, net, hoop, ball, court, and I wanted score, down for the bottom with my exclamation point. So let's pick four. Let's pick all four of those words. What do you think, Lauren? Yeah, I say pick the four words. So let's do ball, net, hoop, court, Score is one. So ball, net, hoop, court, score. And this is all our topic is. Basketball is the title. So we're going to sound it out. Shoot, team sport, 
dribble pass, ball net hoop court score. And it's basketball. Now we're going to go to some planned work for you to do. So here's the worksheet that tells me how many syllables that I will write on that line. We will do one. Uh, we already did, Delorean, did we do this one yet? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. So now here's another one. I'm going to have you guess what the title would be. We're going to check out the syllables. Make sure that I did them correctly. Run, jumping, swinging high, swinging high, bike ride, down slide, bike ride, down slide, fun. So I've got all my syllables on there. I didn't make a mistake. What do you think this is all about? Hmm, it's not about skydiving, it's not about homework. Plane. Oh, you're right. It's just about plane. Or it could have been the title outside. So I have this poem. I'm going to draw the Japanese lantern shape for you. It's the Japanese lantern shape. I'm going to pull another one. And this topic is something that I like to see if you can guess. And I can already tell I made a mistake because on the first line, open, I have two syllables. Page one, heart pounding, heart pounding is three. Run, flip, hide, safe is four. And then close is one. So now, can you guess what I was trying to do here? It was something I like to do. <gasps> Read. Yes. What's another, what's a single one syllable word I could have used at the top? Let's see. Let's do book. Is one syllable. Book. Two, what am I talking about? Page one, heart pounding. Run, flip, hide, safe, <gasps> close. I thought of like a character in a book that's running from some trouble from the enemy and they find out they're safe Then I close the book. So that's what I'm reading. So let's look around your house and try to think of what's around you. You might have Shelves is one syllable. We have, um, like right now I'm looking in my kitchen, I see a towel, towel, <gasps> refrigerator. <gasps> That's a big one. Refrigerator. I see microwave oven. Oh, that one's way out of our line. <gasps> Sink, there's one. Coffee maker, there's four. Coffee maker. Um, I could write a poem about a kitchen. There are a lot of things that you could write your poem on. So I hope I've given you a start in how to go about creating a Japanese poem. And they're quite fun to create, coming up with a topic and ask people if they can figure out what the poem is, what the topic is. And that's it. I hope I gave you a good start with your Japanese lantern poem. Some of the topics that I came up with for myself was things that I like, reading, painting, writing, the library, family, Minnesota, fishing, any topic that you could come up with. And then remember, take another sheet of paper and write down some things about it. Like, what do I like about the library? It would be books. I like my friends there, my coworkers. I love the computers. I love the programs. Just think of all the different things that I enjoy about it. I could write a whole poem on just Create Library. And whatever poem you create, we would love it if you would post it on the site for us. I would love to read them or bring it into the library when the world opens up again. And when it does open up again, I hope you come in and show me your poem. 
Bye guys. Be safe, wash your hands, and have a good time.